Chapter 30 is David's story of redemption. He and his men have been sent away from the Philistines, which they had been camped out with hiding from Saul and ruthlessly raiding the neighboring Amalekite cities. This chapter opens with a scene of destruction. Ziklag, the city David and his men had been given back in chapter 27, was on fire. And all their families, their sons, their daughters, their wives, and all their things, both small and great, had been taken by the Amalekites. David and his men are in agony, and he has now lost the faith of his men. The army talked of stoning him. At this moment, David turns to the only one he knew would be able to save him, God. The end of verse 6 reads, But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Jesus told us a story in Luke chapter 15 about a son who left his father in pursuit of his own selfishness. We know him as the prodigal son. He knew his father's love but wouldn't truly experience it until he humbled himself, pulled himself out of the pig pen, and returned to his father. Verse 6 is David's pig pen moment. David had lost it all. His wives and his possessions were gone, and now his men were all ready to kill him. It has been at least three chapters since we saw David consult the Lord, but now he sought God in his backslidden state, and God showed up as only God Almighty can. But it took David humbling himself and once again returning to the Father for his strength. Remember, there is no sin too big for Jesus to forgive. David, David was working for the very enemy that he first fought against as a little boy, an enemy that hated God's people. Like the prodigal son, we simply have to return home to the father we knew would take care of us this whole time. After all, our father sent his only son to die on a cross so that we could spend eternity with him. Isaiah 41:13 says, for I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you.